Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Talking Crazy 88 back again with another episode for you. Wanted to get at you guys before I headed off to work. And, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about character. Okay? Character. Character in a person. Character in a woman. And also examining your own character traits. Because you see, there, I would say 90%, and I would just say as an American population, 90% of the American population of women out here are garbage, okay? They have character issues, okay? See, if you have children with five, if you have three children by th three different niggas, random niggas, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about if you, have, if you marry three times and you produce three children out of those three marriages, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about producing three children by three, different, by three random niggas that ran up in your pussy, okay? That's a character issue for me. I'm not going to wife you up, okay? If a woman has been in prison, that's a character issue for me. That should be a character issue for you, fellas. Because it, I know it is for me. You broke the law. And if you broke the word law, that means you don't respect. You don't respect the authority. You don't respect the law. You don't respect yourself. You don't respect God's rules. You can't be a church person. You can't be a church nigga and, and break the law. I'm sorry. That's a character flaw. That's a character issue for me. I mean, there, there, are pl there are plenty of other character issues that you have to examine. I can go, I can go in on it on this video. But I'm, I want to talk to the brothers. And I, and, I, and I started thinking about it. Who, are, who am I to talk about character issues when we don't even, when I can't, when I, when I can't even examine, well, not can't, when I don't even acknowledge my own character flaws. See, I was a former simp. See, to me, when, you, when I start thinking about it, simps have a character issue. And I'm, I'll explain it. I'll explain why. In my, in my experience. See, I was a pushover. See, be, see, being a simp, it means being a pushover. You know, doing everything and anything for just to keep that pussy around. Okay? That's what I did. I dated a woman that had nothing to lose, who had character issues. All right? She was unstable, didn't have her own house, moved around a lot, still living, living under her fat-ass mama. Okay? Not raising her son properly. Okay? You know, not raise well, not raising your son in a stable environment. This bit this chick was unstable mentally cuz she always thought that I was cheating on her. But she would let 56 niggas run up in her. But she's worried about me cheating on her. That means she was doing something she was doing some shit that she wasn't supposed to be doing, so fuck her. But anyway, my character flaw was that I accepted. I accepted this behavior. I accepted everything that she did. I didn't have a backbone. I was, I was, I was a coward. I was a punk-ass nigga. See, that's a character flaw in the simp. That's a character issue. That, that women like this, that would draw... That often, that often draws women who have nothing to lose. That's a character issue for people. See, there's a brother here on, on YouTube that breaks it down very eloquently. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not a... I didn't major in human behavior in college or social, social work. I majored in economics when I was in college, all right? 
So human behavior is new to me. I, I'm just now learning. I'm 38 years old, and I'm learning character traits. Well, I've, I've learned over the last 10 years, but th this is where I can really just bring my thoughts into it and break it down for you, for you, for you young folks out there. Because you, you don't have men in it. Because, see, you didn't have men in your life that would tell you, look at this woman's character. If she's begging, if she's always in need of assistance from you, always begging for money. You know, like one of the old folks said, have, have a limp, one of these women that have a limp wrist, Always asking, for, there's always a crisis in our life. That's a character issue. That's a character issue that you need to explore. Because she ain't, she's not handling her business. If you have a child, you should be handling your business. Okay? If she's talking to her, if you're dating, if God forbid, if you're dating a woman that has children, right? And she's treating her baby daddy, children's father, like shit. Cussing them out on a daily basis. That's a character issue, people. Because let me tell you something. Whatever she does to him, she damn sure is going to do to you. And you might as well be mindful of that. Okay? Because there's some... See, I'm only telling you the basics, people, of what I observed. Because there are a lot of nutty ass bitches out there in this world that we have to navigate through. And it's getting worse. Here's another character flaw for you that you need to examine. There's some black women, there's some OJ, there's some OJ Simpson type bitches out there too. So don't get it twisted. These are the bitches that love white men who were put down before. They will put down brothers. Say brothers ain't, black men ain't shit. Alright? And they go to the white men. And they get ran through by these white men. Because that's all they want is the pussy. Because they ain't... They, let, me, let, let me explain something to you. Because of white supremacy, if you, if you do a little bit of homework on white supremacy, you would know that not a lot of white men are willing to bring home a black woman to wife up a black woman. Do your homework. As of why. I know why. But do your homework. They're not going to bring you home. They'll fuck you. They'll get the pussy. But they ain't, they ain't wifing you up. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you this right now. Now, see, you got these black women who run off with these white men, thinking that they're the best thing in sliced bread. I know a brother that have a radio show talked about it. Okay, which really pisses me off. Then, then after they get ran through, now they on that pro black shit. See, you got to be wary of that because that's a character issue right there. See, I don't, I don't go on my videos talking about fuck black women or anything like that. I say fuck American women, all right, because they're all garbage. Doesn't matter what race. See, my thing is, it doesn't matter what race they are in this country. They're all the same. They just do shit differently, okay? But see, I primarily talk to brothers, and brothers be Wanting to holler at these nasty ass black women. Okay? Will fuck anything with a dick. Alright? It doesn't matter. They, they drop a baby on a thug nigga and then start dating an electrical engineer at the same time. They have no standards. See, black men, we gotta have standards. A brother told, a brother did a video on that, that black men need to start having standards. We need to start making a list of what our standards are, what we won't do. I've compiled a list, but I'm going to do that in the next video. And I'm going to go over my list to you guys. 
in, in my next video. I just want you to go ahead, just to think about your character strengths, because character strengths, and what her character strengths are, and weaknesses. Figure out that if I'm a liability to her, or she's a liability to me. Okay, because if you have nothing to lose, if you're dating someone that has nothing to lose, she's considered you an asset in her life. She's going to take from you. All right. She's not giving any. She's not that bitch that I was with. She never gave me a damn thing. She gave me nothing but. But. But problems in my life. OK, ever since we broke up you, during during the relationship and ever since we broke up. And I don't mean problems like she's been calling my phone up. She see that bitch never talked and spoke to me again. I never spoke to that bitch again. So fuck her. But see. I, you know, fucked up my credit. Took me it took me time to rebuild my credit. Because of that nasty ass bitch. But that was my fault. You go through that, you chalk it up as one of those shit, one of those things in life that you shouldn't do. You learn from it. And that's why I do these videos, because I want brothers out there to learn from my mistakes, to learn from my issues. Because there's a wise man that always says, the wise man said this to me once. A wise old man said to me that a wise man learns from others, other, other people's mistakes. Only a fool would want to learn from themselves. Don't be a fool, brothers. Listen to these brothers out here that's, spitting, that's talking game to you, all right? You know who they are. If they, took, if they know what they're talking about, and they good character. Hey, listen. I don't mind talking a little bit about my life to the younger brothers out there. About all the mistakes that, the mistakes that I've made. Because we do need to look at other people's character in the account. We need to really, especially nowadays, we, we, we got to take an analysis, critical analysis of who we bringing into our lives? Are we a liability? Are they a liability to me? Are they gonna help me through through some shit? If I ever have, if I'm going through some shit, are they gonna be there to help me? Are they an asset? Because let me tell you something. Because of feminism, there are few, very few women. Who are assets to a man's life. That's why. A brother. Brother. Uh, who had a radio show. Out in California. L.A. Who mentioned that. There's no benefit for a man to get married. Too many liabilities. And I was thinking about that. There's too many women that have liabilities. Calamity James, train wreck. Too many women that have a train wreck lifestyle, which is true. Think about it, brothers. Well, listen, I got to run. Got to get to work. Let's talk crazy 88. I am out of here, baby.